So I am on my way to go get Botox on my crow's feet. Um, I'm really nervous about it. I haven't had Botox in many years. I only had it one time before and it, uh, yeah, it was an experience. So I'm very nervous, but I'm going to Dr. Wu, who is amazing. Um, I always thought that I was going to age gracefully. Just and wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> I think it's wrapped. So when I'm, you know, messing with my face, I'm always very careful. Uh, I decided to go to the best and we are here today at Dr. Jessica Wu's office in Westwood, California, right in LA. And we're going to go inside and just get this done. I'm really nervous. Botox once before. I had it on my 11s, they call this, I believe. Yes. Um, and it hurt a lot. <laughs> so you're saying that you normally don't use numbing cream. I normally don't. Okay. It's true that Botox is injected through a needle, mm -hmm. so you will feel a little bit of a pinprick, but I normally don't use numbing cream, number one, because most of my patients don't need it. Okay. They're not and, big babies like me. <laughs> well, there, there are tricks that we can do to minimize the discomfort. Okay. And also numbing cream, some people are allergic to, and it can sometimes cause some redness and swelling that can make it hard for me to be as precise. Okay. So I find that it's better not to. You'll be fine. My palms are really sweaty, but I trust, I, I trust Dr. Wu. I'm like, I can't even talk. I'm like, needles. Okay. I used to actually think, that I was really against this when I was in my like early mid-20s. I was like, I'm never going to get Botox. I'm going to age gracefully. And now that I'm 32, I started seeing photos of myself. And when I smile, which is how I obviously prefer to see myself, is smiling, all these lines in here are just like... And your makeup really creases. Deep. It does, it. yeah. And what happens over time, if you don't do anything, is that the lines get longer and deeper and they start to creep down your cheek. So just take over. I, I do consider this part of aging gracefully. I think aging gracefully, my philosophy anyway, of aging gracefully is doing what we can so that we feel better about ourselves. And if that includes doing Botox, then why not? So what do you think the biggest mistake that people do when like when they're doing injections to their face? Well, it's definitely important to go to a doctor when you're getting these types of treatments because injectables uh, like Botox, like fillers, are a medical procedure. Right. You are trusting someone to inject something into your body, so I, I would encourage people to make sure that they're going to a reputable doctor, a board certified, either dermatologist or plastic surgeon, and take a look around. If you're not ready to get that treatment done that day, um, look around, see how clean the office is, how responsive the office is. Um, you can look online. Speaking of yeah. online, you know, social media. Yeah. A, a lot yeah. of a lot of doctors now have reviews. You can ask for your ask your friends and family for their input as well, because you want someone who has experience. It's not hard to take a needle and inject something into someone's face, but the hard part and the art of it comes into knowing how much and where to put it so that you still look natural and beautiful and like yourself. Natural, that is key. So who is the ideal candidate for Botox? I tell my patients you're ready for Botox when you make expression in a certain area and when you relax your face, the frown line or wrinkle stays. It stays. Yeah. So that that would be the right time to get it. Okay. So not only does Botox relax what's already there, but it actually prevents it from getting worse. What are there any are there any side effects? Like do you ever see anything negative happen? Do people have like panic attacks? Talk a little bit about that. <laughs> like me with my sweaty palms. Botox is injected through a needle, mm -hmm. so people have to be comfortable with having an injection. And every so often, maybe a handful of times of a year, someone feels faint. Okay. So I always ask people, are you a fainter? Are you a fainter, Jamie? I'm not yeah. a fainter. Okay. I'm apparently a sweaty. You can actually, you can do Botox in your yes, hands. Yes, I'll do the same. Next time we'll do it in your palms and stuff. Sweaty palms. Um, so, so yes, uh, sometimes people feel faint. Sometimes people feel nervous. And that's absolutely normal. Um, because it's injected through a needle, there may be a small pinprick mark that can last a few days. There may be some bleeding and bruising. Also, uh, because it's injected very carefully around facial muscles, I tell my patients not to rub for four hours okay. because if you massage the area, you might push the fluid around and it might push it away from where I precisely placed it and you may end up with an uneven eyelid or eyebrow. Okay. And as with any elective procedure, we recommend um, not to have any of these treatments done if you are pregnant or nursing. Not pregnant. <laughs> but are you nursing? I, I am nursing, but I'm not pregnant. <laughs> so I think my last question is, you know, 
how many times a year do I have to upkeep this? How long does kind of each session last? Botox lasts on average about four months. Okay. So that means three times a year. If you decide you want to get it done again, you maintain it. If you decide you don't want to get it done, then the muscles wake up again and the creases come back. They come back. Yes, they do. They won't be any stronger. Yeah. They won't be any deeper. But they'll come back to where they would have been had you never had it done. So this is like a lifetime commitment, really. If you if want I the want area, to. yes. Yeah. If you want the area to stay smooth, then yes. All right, I'm ready. Okay, let's <laughs> yeah. do it. Still nervous. <laughs> I honestly, I, I feel like if I have this at 32, it must be so much worse because I do take really good care of my skin. Like I wear sunscreen every day. I use like a sensitive skin retinol because I do have a little bit of a reaction to it usually. But I mean, is this what you would call like a normal? kind of amount of aging for someone my age? Or? I think you have an average amount of crow's feet for someone your age. Average, okay. Yes. That's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. I know, but I try so hard. I mean, really, like, I, I don't know anybody else who does also, that. Also, you have a very wide smile. Oh. So you have a very expressive face and a wide, wide smile. Yeah. Some people, when they smile, their eyes don't smile that much. Their cheeks don't move much. Right. They kind of have this half smile. And so they might have less than you. Other people who haven't taken as good care of their skin, who've been in the sun, who've not used retinol, uh, their creases might be even deeper. Right. So that's why I think yours is average. It's just and it's not nice. a bad thing. It's not no. a bad thing to be smiley. So let's take a look okay. together. Smile. So I see these creases here, and I also see this is starting to get a little creepy. Uh, so it we is want creepy. to prevent that. Yeah. So we want to keep your eyes smiley, but we want to prevent that from getting longer and deeper because if we don't do anything, they will start to creep down and back. No. Okay. Smile big, please. And relax. Do I have to open my eyes? No. Nope. Okay. You're just going to keep your eyes closed and you're going to relax. Here we go. First one, how was that? That was nothing. So the second one. Two out of three done on this side. Might feel a little cold. Relax. Well, close your eyes, please. Thank you. A little pinch here. I find if I inject really carefully and slowly, it's more precise and less uncomfortable and less chance of bleeding. Yeah. You're not at all. Woohoo! Smile big. Good. This side's done. That's it? That's it. That really was fine. <laughs> I Easy, think I right? built that up. I really just, yeah. Relax. Smile big. Relax. Beautiful. We're done. That's it? That's it. That was so easy. Right? You did great. <laughs> all that build up. <laughs> it really was the anticipation, which it always is. Like if you go to get, you know, a shot at the doctor or whatever, it's it's always the anticipation, the waiting. That really was easy. It really like when my cat scratches me, it hurts a lot more than that. <laughs> okay, so guys, I can breathe again. That like I said, it was actually really painless. I barely felt it, and that was with no numbing cream, just like a little dabbing of ice. Um she really is that good. <laughs> I trusted her completely and I think, you know, that made a huge difference. Finding a doctor that I really trusted, it's, it's all the difference actually. Um, so I will check back in with you in about a week and we will talk about the results. Hey guys, so it's officially been one week since I had my Botox treatment with Dr. Wu. And I have to say, I have been really, really happy more happy actually than I even expected with the results. Um, you know, I think that the one thing that I didn't know is that this eye is actually a little bit bigger than this eye. So now for the future, you know, I talked to Dr. Wu about it. I have to do just a little bit less in this eye because I did notice that there was like one extra little wrinkle right underneath. But the wrinkles that we actually did um, use the Botox for, which were the crow's feet right here, are completely gone. Like as if they were never even there in the first place. So I was extremely, or I am still extremely very happy with the results. And Botox is definitely something that I'm gonna probably keep doing for a while. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my Botox video with Dr. Wu. It was a really fun experience for me, obviously a little bit scary. You know, you saw the footage of me being like, ah, I'm scared of these needles. But I think overall it was really positive. I'm extremely happy with the results and it was really, really not painful at all. It, it was like somebody just kind of going like this to you. It was really great. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and let me know if you have any questions. Bye guys.